Okay, so now let us continue our discussion on finding the perimeter. So a rectangle. So the problem states here that a rectangular piece of land measures 0.7 kilometer by 0.5 kilometer. Each side is to be fenced with four rows of wires. What is the length of the wire needed? Now, the first thing that we can do is to make the rectangle. So that will make our task of visualizing the shape easier. So we have roughly this rectangle here. And let us label the sides. So the two sides are 0.7 kilometer is the longer side and uh, 0.5 kilometer is the shorter side and what we have to do is we have to fence this field we have to go along this field four times because we need four rows of wires so what is the length of the wire needed now straightforward we know that when we go along this field once we are going through the perimeter. Okay, so first we do is to find out the perimeter. So the perimeter of this a rectangular field, which is nothing but the perimeter of a rectangle, is two times length plus width. But now in this case, if you see the length is given to us in kilometers, 0.7 and 0.5. Of course, we can do a straightaway addition here to get the length of the wire in kilometers. So what we can do is uh, we, we, we can just add these two numbers but then a better way would be to convert these two 0.7 and 0.5 into meters so that we don't get those decimals here and it could make our calculations a bit simpler. So we know that 1 kilometer equals 1000 meters. So using that what we do is point 7 kilometers equals 0.7 multiplied by 1000 meters which is nothing but equal to 700 meters similarly 0.5 kilometers equals 0.5 multiplied by 1000 meters which is equal to 500 meters so now we have our this is L and this we have W. So now what we can do is we can straight away plug in the values of L and W in this formula that we got over here. So we can do the perimeter equals twice of length. Length is 700 meters plus the width. Width is how much? 500. So 700 plus 500 is 1200. So we have 2 times 1200 meters which is equal to 2400 meters. But now this is the length of the wire required to go round this rectangular field once. We, we need to have 4 rows of wires. So we need to go around 4 times which is nothing but this. So the length of total wire equals 4 times 2400 so when we solve this the 4 times 20 is 80 and 4 times 4 is this so 4 times 4 is 16 so we have 9600 meters or it is equal to 9.6 kilometers so we can just convert it back now I just want to give a note to you here that if you are comfortable in adding the decimals you can you do not need to go for this convert conversion into meters and you can straight away add it to get this answer so what we can do is so perimeter P is equal to twice of length plus width or we can straight away write it as 2 times 0.7 plus 0 0.5 when I add this, what we get is 2 times 1.2, which gives us 2.4 kilometer. 
see this is the same that we got over here 2400 meters is same to 2.4 now when but since we need to go around the field four times we just multiply this 2.4 by 4 and therefore we will get 9.6 kilometers so this is another example in which we can use the concept of perimeter in daily lives now let us try to have a look at finding the perimeters for some of the shapes that are mentioned below. So we have a triangle whose lengths are of sides 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. So how would that look like? So let us say that we have 3 cm is something like this. The 4 cm is going to be a little longer and the 5 cm is the longest of all. So we just made this triangle over here and let us just label the side. So this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 centimeters and the perimeter of these is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5 this is just the length of the sides so 3 plus 4 is 7 and 5 is 12 centimeters so this is the perimeter for the first one now the second one says that find out the perimeter for an equilateral triangle of side 9 centimeter now when I say equilateral triangle it simply implies that the length of the sides are going to be same. Now I'll try to make, I'll give my best to make an equilateral triangle here, which looks like it has all the three same sides and let us label. So we have 9 centimeter, 9 centimeter and 9 centimeter. And in this case, the perimeter, since an equilateral triangle is a regular shape, perimeter is the number of sides into the length so 3 is the number of sides we have 3 sides and the length of each side is 9 cm so it is 18 cm now the third example says that we have an isosceles triangle with equal sides 8 cm each and third side of 6 cm now an isosceles triangle is going to have two sides of equal length so we'll, let us just make Two equal sides so this is and the third side is going to be of six centimeters so let us label the sides as well so we have this is eight centimeters this is eight centimeter and this one is six centimeter now the perimeter for this equals the sum of these three sides and therefore we can just add these three that is 8 plus 8 plus 6 so we have 8 and 8 is 16 and 16 plus 6 is 22 so that is the perimeter of the triangles